Cyrus Bears, full boob. That's right. So initially what had happened was the album cover art, okay, she actually tweeted it out and it was the original cover where she is laying down on a horse. She's donning like a cute little brunette wig and she's seemingly naked, but you only see a little bit of cleave. Okay, so they cut it, they yes! edit it. It's like a side boob. It's like a little <gasps> side boob, a little cleave. A little clavage. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And okay, so then she tweeted it out and she's trying to push everybody to listen to Adore You and to talk about Adore You and get publicity surrounding her new song. Well, it peaked on the Billboard album charts at 21. So then all of a sudden, this new unedited version of Adore You's cover album art comes out with Miley, full boob. Mm -hmm. Full boob out on the horse. Yes. Yeah. And um, people are now speculating that the reason why that leaked right after it peaked at 21 on the album charts was because they were trying to gain more momentum to get Adore You to a higher spot. Thoughts, five words or less. This made me smiley. Cute. Thanks. And also creepy. <laughs> Let the nips rip. Yeah, girl. This is super shady, Godiva. <laughs> now that's riding bareback. Okay, um, so let's get right into Miley Cyrus. Do you guys think that this was an intentional leak? Yeah. Okay, so you think her and her team intentionally leaked it to try to get more publicity surrounding Adorio? Yes, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. because I mean, why would you shoot that album cover with it topless if yeah. you weren't planning on releasing that picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, release, <laughs> leak. <laughs> That's all I'm hearing right, right. now. Yeah. Okay. Le leaky boobs. Did you think uh -huh. that the photos were artistic or just plain exhibitionist? What do you think? I and mean, I think that's such a fine line, the delicate dance between like art and porn. Um, <laughs> but you know, I don't, I don't think it's that shocking at all from her. I mean, we have seen every angle of her boob yeah. at the side and up from space, like all the <laughs> angles. And now we just have seen full areola while on a horse. And I don't know what America's obsession is with like, if there's an areola, everyone's like, oh my God. Yeah. If Kate Moss was rocking that photo, I don't think we'd think anything of it. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. what is it about Miley Cyrus where, where, is it because of her Disney image? Is it because she's 21? You know what, what is though? it? Even if it were someone like Katy Perry, we would all freak right. out. Yeah. Yeah. So Actually, I don't think it has to do with the Disney thing. The I think it's thing. just, she's a pop artist. Mm -hmm. She's not, it's not, well, Lady Gaga is too, but we would expect that of Lady Gaga. Right. But for some reason, like just anyone, like even Kesha, I would be like, yeah. I would fully expect this from Lady Gaga. Well, because yeah. she's gone full frontal, right, for the performance art. Yes, yeah, yes. we've seen all of Gaga. Mm -hmm. We've seen someone vomit on Gaga. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like the shock and awe campaigns now with artists in general are just like, it's weird because it's like the shock standards are higher, but it's also a race to the bottom. Like, But do you think that that was always around or do you think it's more so now that everybody's trying to outdo each other with these shock and awe publicity stunts? I mean, Nick Cannon with the white people party music and the white face. Like, So is everybody trying to top each other? People is this a, a new lower, thing or no? A shorter attention span now than they used to. So in order to continue shocking and awing people, you have to raise the stakes, uh, which is why Lady Gaga covered herself in stakes once and why she had people throw up on her. I think that is that is where we're headed. But then, you know, I don't know, it's weird with this Miley Cyrus thing that, that the fact that there's a horse in it makes it more artistic and less it's porny. Not a real horse usually, though, right? It's a horse she, statue. Horse. And she does horses, I went to her bangers concert and she has a horse that comes out and when she tweets about that horse that comes out, she spells it W-H-O-R-S-E. Her horse. Wow. Good for her. Good for yeah. her. Okay, really quick point, though. Yeah. I feel like we are just very sensitive now because remember back in the day when you could see boobs in movies and it was rated PG. Movies what? were rated when PG. Really? Yeah, I'm like, like uh, even Kramer versus Kramer, I think was like PG-13. And you see boobs. full frontal, like you see vagina, you see, see boobs. PG-13. Wait, wait, was it artistic in the 70s or whatever? No, Is that the it's deal? not artistic. It's just movie. It's that was so the you rating think we're more system back then. To nudity nowadays. I just feel like we're kind of going backwards a little bit. Just relax. It's right. not that yeah. big of a deal. It's yeah. just her areola right. is what we're trying to yeah. say. And in Europe, I bet this isn't even a big deal at all. It's just here in the States. We right. make such a big deal out of nudity and, and yet we don't whip violence. In Europe, yeah. you can't wear a top on your album cover. You have to show it's up the opposite. Yeah, you have it's to. Mandatory it's mandatory like, oh, areola. She, mandatory. Yeah, she's wearing pasties? Yeah. Oh, that's controversial in Europe. So what do you guys think about Miley Cyrus? Bear in the boo. Do you guys think it was a publicity stunt? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Pop Twitter.